So astronomers have just announced that they might have found signs of possible life on a planet outside our solar system. Wow! This distant world is called K218b, and it sits about 124 light-years away in the Leo constellation. So what life are we talking about? Little green men? Octopus-like tentacled creatures? Well, not exactly. First things first, let's define what life is. It's what distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, like the ability to grow, reproduce, and change. Now, what do we need to support life? If what comes to your mind is water, <laughs> bingo! Scientists have the feeling that K218b might be covered in oceans, and if it's so, it can support tiny forms of life, like microbes. A team of researchers from the UK and the US used the James Webb Space Telescope to look at the planet's atmosphere. They found hints of two very special chemicals. On Earth, only living things can produce those, and the living things I'm talking about are mostly tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton. So basically, this planet might indeed host life in the form of algae. Now of course, scientists still need more proof before getting too excited. We should keep in mind that it's possible that those chemicals were made by something we don't understand yet, not necessarily by living things. But still. K218b is a big boy. It's more than 8 times heavier than Earth and about 2.5 times larger. So what makes it even more interesting is that it's located in the Goldilocks zone around its star. That means it's not too hot and not too cold there, just right for the existence of liquid water which is highly important for life, as we know it. Astronomers study faraway planets like this by watching how their light changes when they pass in front of their star. This allows us to figure out what kinds of gases are in the planet's atmosphere. Back in 2013, the James Webb Space Telescope found methane and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of the planet. These are carbon-based molecules, and it was the first time they were found on a planet in the habitable zone. Scientists also saw a weak signal of a chemical called DMS, which is mostly made by tiny ocean life here on Earth. So the researchers pointed the telescope at the planet again a year later using a different tool that could pick up more light details. This time, they found much stronger signs of DMS and some related chemicals. But the problem is the signals aren't strong enough yet. They haven't reached something called the Five Sigma level, a parameter scientists use to confirm discoveries. Plus, even if the DMS really is there, it doesn't automatically equal the existence of life. Scientists once found DMS on a comet, which means that it can be produced without yeah, some kind of life taking part in the process. And still, the amount of DMS on K218b looks way higher than anything seen on Earth. That's why some astronomers are sure it's coming from something living. K218b has been a top pick for what scientists call a Haitian planet. This term means a big, watery world with thick hydrogen atmosphere. It's not the kind of place where extraterrestrial civilizations like in movies would live. But it could be home to tiny life forms, like the microbes that once lived in Earth's oceans billions of years ago. Once again, not everyone agrees on how friendly K218b really is for life. Some scientists think planets like this might actually be too close to their stars to hold on to liquid water. K218b orbits its star every 33 days, which is pretty fast, and could mean it's too hot. That's why some experts claim that even if the planet has any water at all, it might be boiling. Or maybe it's not water, but oceans of lava. But most scientists agree on one thing – we should wait and see. With just 16 to 24 more hours of telescope time, astronomers could confirm what they've seen. This could happen in the next few years. And even if it turns out K218b isn't the world we're looking for, we're still getting close. With powerful telescopes like James Webb and more coming in the future, we might be able to answer whether we're alone in the universe or not. At the same time, some places in our own solar system, like Mars, Venus, or Saturn's moon Enceladus, might actually have a better shot at hosting life. Or we could keep exploring other promising worlds, like Proxima Centauri b which is the closest exoplanet we know about. It's just four and a quarter light years away from us and orbits a small star called Proxima Centauri, right in the habitable zone. This planet is a bit bigger than Earth, which makes it a super-Earth. That's what we call exoplanets larger than ours, 
but much smaller than gas giants like Neptune or Jupiter. Proxima Centauri b is a fast-moving world. It needs a mere 11 days to go all the way around its star. Scientists think Proxima Centauri b might have a rocky surface, and that's a good sign for possible life. On the other hand, its star blasts it with a lot of ultraviolet radiation. It might have already destroyed the planet's atmosphere, if there was any to begin with. So, there's a big question mark when it comes to this world's habitability. Then, we've got TRAPPIST-1e, another promising Earth-like planet. It's one of seven rocky planets orbiting a small, cool star called TRAPPIST-1, about 39 light-years away. Discovered in 2017, it might be one of the most promising places to look for life beyond Earth. This planet is actually a bit smaller than Earth, with a mass around one-half that of our planet. It completes an orbit around its star in just six days, which is super fast compared to Earth's 365 days. The planet's size and density suggest it has a rocky surface, and that's another key factor when we talk about habitability. Even though TRAPPIST-1e is very close to its star, the star is quite dim and cool, so the planet might still have a stable Earth-like climate. Some scientists even think it could have more water than Earth. Let's move on to Kepler-186f, located about 500 light-years away. It was the first Earth-sized planet found in a habitable zone of another star. It orbits a red dwarf, which burns cooler and lives much longer than our Sun. This means Kepler-186f could have stable conditions for billions of years, giving life plenty of time to possibly form and evolve. The planet gets only about one-third of the sunlight Earth receives, so it would likely be cooler but still warm enough to keep water from freezing. It also seems to be a rocky planet just like Earth, which boosts its chance of hosting life. Now, how about visiting LHS 1140b, about 40 light-years away? This planet has about five and a half times the mass of Earth. Scientists think it's rocky and possibly has a thick atmosphere, which is a big deal. An atmosphere like that can trap heat, keep temperature stable, and protect water from escaping into space. This world orbits a quiet red dwarf star, so it's not constantly blasted by harmful flares like some other exoplanets are. Some studies even suggest LHS 1140b could be an ocean world with lots of water. So it's one of the more exciting planets we've found in our neighborhood. And finally, we have Gliese 12b. Astronomers call it ExoVenus. It sits 40 light years away from Earth. This world is about the size of Venus and orbits a cool red dwarf star. It needs just under 13 days to complete one orbit. The temperature on the planet is around 107 degrees, which is quite warm but still okay for life. The thing that makes Gliese 12b so interesting is that it could help us understand how Earth-sized planets around cool stars hold on to their atmospheres. That's important, because an atmosphere is crucial for things like liquid water and protecting life from harmful radiation. According to some researchers, Gliese 12b is one of the best chances we have to figure out whether planets like this can stay habitable. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.